हेलो यस यस हेलो हेलो चिल्ड्रन हेलो हेलो यस यस ओके 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 सो अ वेरी हैप्पी डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम सो हैप्पी टू सी यू ऑल दैट यू ऑल आर सो एक्साइटेड फॉर द नेशनल साइंस ओलंपियाड एंड यू ऑल वांट टू टेक द टॉप रैंक्स यस सो वी आर रिवाइजिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस कम ऑन सो वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन वेलकम यू ऑल यस आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल टू एवरीवन so shall we start shall we start come on i want your yes on the chat yes yes come on okay yes saptarshi kashif rav ya uv ramit asmita see children these sessions of yours will be very useful and those children who are regular on the youtube definitely they all take the top ranks right so welcome reenu gurg ma'am vedantu master teacher welcomes you all with the 30 years of experience into teaching for these olympiads yeah is the screen clearly visible to you all your nso is on 1st december yeah it's starting from 18th october we'll be revising the 18th october paper also so first of all subscribe like comment and share come on these things you should do after the session or before the session so very important first of all why this session is important why these youtube sessions are important come on children first of all it's not only for science olympiad it is also good for uh, something wrong with the adjustment of the camera i hope it's well adjusted now let's check yes first of all it is important for securing good score in the school exams then you will definitely when you do this your score will definitely be good in the school exams for nso scheduled on 18th october 3rd november and 1st december these are the three dates for the science olympiad for any of the upcoming olympiads conducted by schools they can be istsc it can be nstsc no down apply in all third exam it can be silver zone ios and others whichever your school conducts secondly your school has science quiz in one of the competitions in the year so these are helpful for that also right so first of all quiz number 1 read the given paragraph and you will write your score that who got it right read the given paragraph with few blanks and select the option that correctly fills these blanks you have to be honest in telling me that your answer was right or wrong i can't hide the answers here whosoever writes on the chat but you also think about the answer and you answer only when i tell you to answer it okay first read the question carefully plants reproduce vegetatively that means not from the seed which it's from any other part besides the flower by different means plants like dash reproduce with the help of leaves so is it bryophyllum begonia begonia bryophyllum so one of them reproduces with the help of leaves maybe both reproduce with the help of leaves dash and dash reproduce by stem this is first fill up second third fourth so first second third and this is the fifth fourth and fifth fill up so does sweet potato and potato reproduce by stem does garlic and strawberry reproduce by stem does onion and potato reproduce by stem does garlic and ginger reproduce by stems abhi nahi abhi nahi asmita first see all don't give your answer i said answer nahi dena hai abhi and dash reproduces by roots check fourth one onion ginger sugar cane dahlia which reproduces by roots and dash first reproduce by what now now you can start giving your answers 
and there is only one part from which you can decide what the answer will be come on yes you be shiv i am waiting for your answers which of them is root modification root se reproduction kis mein vegetative reproduction by roots check the fourth option check the fourth option reproduction by roots <clears throat> okay so there is a controversy between a and d some are saying a some are saying d let everybody answer romit what do you say okay yuvraj what do you say come on yuvraj shiv okay i am moving on to the next and the correct answer is d correct answer is d why because the fourth part onion reproduces by stem and sweet potato reproduces by root and this by stem ginger by stem not by root fourth fill up was this sugar cane also by stem dahlia by root so there was only one option which was reproducing by root this is by leaves this is stem stem and ferns by spores so first of all ferns by spores so you had to select between a and d a me what was wrong onion and sweet potato were wrong hence option d was correct so asmita no not the crying phase you should be happy i have learned one thing new so please note down there are two types of reproductions vegetative and reproduction from seeds yes this is sexual reproduction okay and this is asexual reproduction so here male female gametes are not involved vegetative okay 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 shiv so see vegetative reproduction can vegetative is means besides flower and seed any other part of the plant so first of all by stems so stems me potato has got eyes so they germinate potato is a stem it is not a root although it grows inside the ground whereas sweet potato usi ka hi bhai hai but usme reproduction is by root that is a root sweet potato is a root potato is a stem because potato has got these buds it has got scale leaves anything which has get leaves and buds that is a stem try to understand onion it's a bulb onion is a bulb but it's a part of the stem stem has modified into a bulb jo uske upar pink color ki leaves hoti hai scale paper like they are the leaves and it also germinates from here plants like carpet grass strawberry grow from long stems also mint you can say they grow from long stems means you bury the stem into the ground and then the roots will develop from here this is called as layering also right next is stems of plants like can be artificially induced to produce new plants for example cutting say rose we do grafting in roses rose grafting hoti hai isme so this also does not produce seeds it produces from the stem is take ek mother plant se stem lekar dusre ke upar tissue se tissue match karke we put a tape around and it can grow into a new plant reproduction by roots ke example please learn from today dahlia sweet potato carrot radish beetroot these are all modified roots for storage of food and also they for storage of food they've got swollen they store the food sweet potato dahlia carrot radish beetroot here the root gets swollen and they reproduce by roots in potato stem gets swollen in onion again the stem gets swollen into a bulb kind of a thing next comes by leaves in bryophyllum they produce through the leaves the leaves have in ki notches me they get small buds from which the roots come out if you sow this leaf into the soil it will develop into a new plant you must be having bryophyllum in your garden you must have seen leaf ke notches se small plant chote chote plants are coming out you sow this leaf into your ground into the soil it will develop into a new plant and ferns 
these have small dot 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 dots like structure spores so non flowering plants like ferns and mosses reproduce through spores now comes quiz number 2 tanmay's three friends are suffering from the following diseases shelja has scurvy scurvy samrat has measles superna has chicken pox who among them can communicate disease to tanmay also you will note down that before exams you will revise today's session come on who among them can communicate disease to tanmay tanmay three friends are suffering from the following diseases shelja has scurvy shelja has scurvy samrat has measles superna chicken who among them can communicate diseases to tanmay come on which one is your answer shelja and superna samrat and superna samrat only shelja only what is your answer yes which one is your answer come on i want this answer from yuvraj yuvraj are you there yuvraj are you there come on shiv yuvraj quick who will communicate the disease sad romit saptarshi i have given the answer let's check whether they are right or wrong waiting for some more answers waiting for more answers i've got these answers from sad romit saptarshi anybody else come on quick the other children also yes it is yes it is yes it is samrat and superna beta shiv shelja scurvy this is a deficiency disease from vitamin c and measles are communicable they are viral and chicken pox is also viral so viral diseases are communicable they spread from one person to another you are right now shiv it's samrat and superna so there are two types of diseases communicable which spread from one person to other and non communicable communicable may be two type one is from person to person and one is through some vector like mosquito is a vector for plasmodium vivax and uh, it, it conveys uh, means it passes on the malaria in human beings yes so non communicable diseases are the deficiency diseases for example scurvy vitamin c ki deficiency se vitamin d ki deficiency se rickets so these are the deficiency diseases they are non communicable then quartzyorker marasmus these all are deficiency diseases are you thorough with the deficiency diseases or you want me to revise the deficiency diseases how many of you want me to revise deficiency diseases with you yeah then communicable disease these are the disease that can be passed on from one person to another communicable disease microbes or germs like bacteria protozoa mm -hmm. virus spread through coughing spitting or sneezing yes communicable may all viral diseases are there yes and communicable disease also those which are communicated by bacteria for example typhoid is caused by bacteria tuberculosis yes now three friends made following statements about the muscles present in a body about the muscles present in a body sarita muscles p take ever take rest right and they are found in organ which does not function <clears throat> which does not function under our control muscles q function under our control yes one one minute children one minute per minute i have lost your connect with you yeah <clears throat> muscles p take rest they are found in organ which does not function under our control gorov says what gorov said muscles q function under control and are involved in the movement of the body rashmi said muscles are work on their own but can get fatigued they are found in our heart who made incorrect statement come on who made incorrect statement sarita only who made in who made incorrect statement who made incorrect statement sarita gorav and sarita yes sarita gorav and sarita rashmi sarita and rashmi only come on
Come on, come on, children. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on. What will be your answer? Waiting for your answer. Yes. Waiting for your answer, children. Not getting your answer. Yes, yes. Oh, you are absolutely correct. Rishabh is absolutely correct. Is it Rishabh? Rishabh, you are absolutely correct. And the first one to answer, then Asmita also, Rashmi only. What mistake? What mistake she did? It's science of grade 5 and 6. She said that the muscles found in the heart, these are cardiac muscles and they never get fatigued. They will get tired. Once they get tired, person will be no more. Person will die. Yes. So, they take rest. Muscles, me, uh, muscles, feet take rest. These are the involuntary muscles like in your elementary canal. These are involuntary muscles which are in your elementary canal. Q are, uh, sorry, uh, some muscles like the muscles attached to a skeleton are under our control. Second one, Q was our under our control, for example, which involves the movement. Elementary canal flow of blood movement of the eye muscles. This is not under our control. And third kind of muscle found in the heart, which never get tired, which never get fatigued. So these are the three different types of muscles found. You are correct. We move on to question number four. Which of the following statement please read in the exam? Underline the word it is asked correct or incorrect. Incorrect dhoonna hai. To aap apne question mein jab aap exam mein solve karoge strategy. Keep on writing true or false. Fats deposited in a body. Write on your copy whether it's true or false so that you give the correct answer. Fats deposited in a body act as shock absorbers and protect us from injury. So don't write over here on the chat. Write in your notebook. It's true or false. Korshorkar is caused by deficiency of proteins, carbohydrates and fats. Roughage neither releases energy nor helps in tissue or bodybuilding. And starch containing food items turn bluish black in color on undergoing iodine test. So fats deposited in our body act as shock absorbers. True or false? Korshorku is caused by deficiency of all three. Roughage neither releases energy nor helps in tissue or bodybuilding. Starch containing food item turn bluish black in color on undergoing iodine test. Which are false? Tell me. What would be your answer? Waiting. And children, I will be taking your YouTube regularly. They will be very helpful. Just a week is left for your exams. Just one week is left for your exams. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes. Saptarshi is saying. Why Saptarshi? Just tell me. Can you give me the reason? Saptarshi, can you give me the reason? You have to remember deficiency diseases. You are right. But can you give me the reason? If second is the answer, which disease is caused by the deficiency of protein, carbohydrate and fat? If B is false, you are saying B is the answer. It's right. This is false. Then which disease is caused by deficiency of protein, carbohydrate and fat? Who can tell me? Come on, quick. Who can tell me which disease is caused by deficiency of protein, carbohydrates and fats? Quickly, quickly. Nobody. That means you need to revise your deficiency diseases. Come on. Jamil is right. It's marasmus. And can you tell me? Yes, it's marasmus. Quarshorkar is caused only, only by protein deficiency. And can you tell me the symptom of Korshyorka? Can you tell me the symptom of Korshyorka right quickly? Korshyorka may the fluid gets stored in your ankles, on the joints. Yes. So the joints become swollen. And the disease caused by deficiency of these three will be marasmus. Roughage is present in salads and fruit bulk, which helps to increase 
द रफ एज इन अ बॉडी बाउल मूवमेंट में हेल्प करता है कॉन्स्टिपेशन नहीं होता बट इट डज नॉट प्रोवाइड यू विद एनी ऑफ द एनर्जी और बॉडी बिल्डिंग बॉडी बिल्डिंग इज बाय विच न्यूट्रिय बाय प्रोटीन यस एंड स्टार्च कंटेनिंग फूड आइटम्स टर्न ब्लूश ब्लैक एंड कलर आयोडीन टेस्ट इज फॉर स्टार्च नेक्स्ट फैट्स ओके वी हैव डिस्कस दिस सो कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स आर द एनर्जी गिविंग फूड्स मेनली सोर्सेज आर राइस वीट पोटेटो बनानाज एंड ब्रेड फैट्स एनर्जी बैंक्स ऑफ अ बॉडी they are present in nuts sunflower mustard fats can be uh, of good cholesterol and bad cholesterol yes ghee and butter are bad cholesterol children can take it but not the elders those who have more fats and nuts have the good cholesterol fat then proteins are the body building food needed for growth and repair of a body cells and does not store proteins and vitamins and minerals are the protective food right now next question refer to the given relationship based on the body covering see crocodile has covering of what blue whale has covering of what porcupine has what so similar to crocodile is snake armadillo frog or emu similar to blue whale is arctic fox dolphin seal or sea horse porcupine is similar to heron hedgehog rhinoceros spiny antelope which one will be your answer come on your answer maybe my chat is slow but you can answer i will get it yeah yes yes waiting for your answer snake armadillo frog or emu which of them is similar to crocodile waiting yes sad you are well prepared sad is well prepared very good sad romit this time 60 on 16 signs she very good rishab does crocodile frog have same rhinoceros or porcupine same nahi honge rishab answer is b crocodile is similar to armadillo blue whale dolphin having scales porcupine hedgehog have yeah crocodile has scales blue whale has blubber snake has scales armadillo has scales frog has moist skin emu has feathers blue whale blubber arctic fox hair then dolphin blubber seal blubber sea horse spiny plates learn from your learn this slide even if question went wrong porcupine has spines heron has feathers hedgehog has spines and rhinoceros thick skin spiny ant eater again spines right so armadillo remember these that blue whale and they are having the blubber crocodile and snake has scales very much right types of body covering animals cuticle is present in insects scales in fish reptiles and also on bird legs shell in animals like snails and tortoise feathers in birds spines like spiny ant eater hedgehog porcupine right spiny ant eater hedgehog porcupine refer to the given relationship based on breathing organs honey bee yes honey bee whale and guppy select the option which satisfies the same relationship honey bee is same as depending on breathing organs it does honey bee has same breathing organ as beetle earthworm moth or cockroach whale breathes through what crane dolphin shark sea horse guppy heron leech yes shark and newt this is second 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 and this is second come on which one is correct all these questions are very important these questions go wrong in the exam ek question bhi wrong hota your rank shifts you need to take 60 on 60 to be in top 10 maximum 59 so asmita says b honey bee has same breathing organ honey bee is a insect earth one belongs to annelida it's c it is c yes hello bhavika good evening yes it is c honey bee is insect 
so it is similar to moth also cockroach is same but whale is similar to seal not sea horse and guppy similar to shark see how how breathing organs in insects it's spiracles honey bee spiracles beetle spiracles earthworm breathe through skin moth through spiracles cockroach through spiracles children why again learn it is important that through one question i am revising the entire chapter whale lungs crane lungs dolphin lungs seal lungs but sea horse through gills so spiracles theek tha sea horse wrong ho gaya then comes guppy fish gills heron lungs leech skin shark again gills and newt skin so even if you don't know newt breeds through what you note down this slide before the exam you must revise it otherwise you'll forget yes saptarshi so spiracles insects breathe through air holes on their body surface gills aquatic animals like fish tadpole prawns etc lungs reptile birds and mammals read the given statement and select the correct one only two questions left saptarshi just two questions left there are total 10 pairs of ribs on human body and then you have to tell me out of eight questions how many got correct there are total 10 pairs of ribs in human body first you have to tell the correct one first seven pairs of ribs are called true ribs ribs are attached to backbone in the front and to sternum at the back ribs protect the brain and the heart come on yes yes sir you you have given all the answers at first your answers have come to me at first maybe you answered first and also your internet is good so yes there are total 10 pairs of ribs in human body which one is correct seven pairs are called true ribs ribs are attached to the backbone in the front and sternum at the back backbone front pe kaise aa gaye but ribs protect the brain and the heart menti has menti account has been stopped now menti is giving no more quizzes yeah that's a very uh, expensive uh, platform come on and secondly we can't explain in written over there there are total 10 pairs of ribs this is wrong first seven pairs of ribs are called true ribs only this is correct see about ribs note down again again note there are 12 pairs of ribs seven are called true ribs ribs are attached to sternum in the front and backbone at the back it's sternum in front and backbone at the back right yes next last question and then you are going to tell me who was correct prithika paired one kharif and one rabi crop as shown here maize and wheat paired one kharif and one rabi crop select the option that pairs crops in the similar manner as done by kritika gram and groundnut soybean mustard bajra rice cabbage jowar come on yes which is so nowadays come on answer is awaited sad hurry up you will be the first one out of all and then you all will tell me the scores out of 8 how many you got correct yes bhavika throughout the week children i will be taking uh, sessions for nso of various classes it's better you join all the classes kahi se aapko koi bhi question aa sakta hai right so please be careful keep on searching renu vos nso sprints are going where okay these are the nso sprints come on waiting for the answer yes you are right jamil you are the first one option b is correct soya bean ये याद नहीं रहते लर्न लर्न इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स आर चिल्ड्रन लर्न रबी एंड खरीफ क्रॉप्स एवरी टाइम द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट ऑन देम राइट वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन इंपॉर्टेंट यस सो इट्स द क्रॉप्स व्हिच ग्रो इन विंटर सीजन आर नोन एज रबी क्रॉप्स दीज आर हार्वेस्टेड इन स्प्रिंग व्हीट मस्टर्ड ग्राम कैबेज रबी व्हिच आर सोन इन अराइवल ऑफ मॉनसून एंड ग्रोन इन मॉनसून सीजन june to october are known as kharif these are rice soya bean groundnut maize jowar bajra are the kharif crops right 
So your answer was B, not C. Yes. So thanks for today's session. Uh, I should thank you or you should thank me. Come on. And children, remember the important topics are Rabi and Kharif crops. Learn Rabi and Kharif crop vegetative reproduction. Learn the chapter reproduction. Then human organs. And then Rabi and Kharif crops. You should learn them by heart. The slides which I have written. Note them down because every time you can't see the YouTube channel. Right. So very good. All of you, I should get the 12 likes. At least 12 students were watching. No. So all of you should give the like and share this with as many students of your class as you can. I hope you will share it with your friends. Yes. You are going to share it with your friends. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day and we'll meet again. Thank you. And note down the important things. Thank you. Bye-bye all of you. Bye-bye.